Hey everyone, have you ever wanted to port your SFML app over to the web, but noticed that, well, uh, it's not really possible, or at least it's not supported officially by SFML? Well, uh, today I'll show you how you can actually create a web game uh, with SFML. So uh, this is one of my projects that I've compiled into WebAssembly so that it can basically run in a web browser. Uh, and I'll be showing, since this is open source, I'll be showing exactly how anyone can compile this and run it themselves. So as it clearly says on the web and it isn't mentioned anywhere on the SFML site, uh, web support isn't available for SFML. The reason behind that is SFML uses very old uh, OpenGL and WebAssembly uses more modern OpenGL, so it just isn't compatible. If you watched my last video there, I showed my OpenGL ES2 branches of SFML2 and SFML3. And now uh, I've made SFML2 and SFML3 branches for WebAssembly. Uh, these are basically just built on top of the branches I showed in the previous video. So in this video I'll show off the SFML2 branch specifically, uh, because this project uh, was uh, made in SFML2, but everything should be very similar for SFML3 as well. Unlike the OpenGL ES2 branches uh, that were basically identical in terms of functionality, uh, these two branches actually have a few differences and SFML3 is a better one. So first of all, uh, SFML2 uses OpenAL for audio and OpenAL requires a separate thread uh, for audio to work. Uh, in SFML3, uh, I think mini audio is used and that does not need multi-threading. Why is this important? Uh, well, when you upload your web game uh, over to, for example, itch.io, uh, there's this shared array buffer option. And this is basically what you'll have to turn on if you need multi-threading. So if you are using uh, SFML audio and SFML2, you'll need to turn this on. The problem with this is it's not very secure and it uh, especially on itch, it can break parts of the page. So if you don't need multi-threading, it will be much easier for you to host, uh, for example, on your own website, uh, a SFML web application. Another benefit uh, is also with audio and SFML2 branch here uses official mscripten uh, ports for libraries. So FreeType and a few other audio libraries. Flack does not have an official mscript import, so the SFML2 branch does not have Flack support. Uh, for me, that doesn't really matter, but it might matter for some people. SFML3 in general uses a different system for dependencies, so uh, I didn't have to use ports. Things got compiled automatically and Flack is supported there. I think those are mostly all of the changes. My uh, template project with CMake uh, has been updated to also include now mscripten stuff. Uh, so mscripten is basically, I think, a C to JavaScript compiler or something like that. Uh, it basically just converts your SFML code uh, over to something that can run in a web browser. So here, uh, I think, as you can see, I've added a few things that are needed for uh, full mscript and support. It also now has uh, two branches. So there's a 2.6 and the master branch uh, for the SFML3. So yeah, you should be able to just clone this and use it for whatever project you'd like. Uh, all right, so the project I'll be showing how to compile uh, is to infinity, which is basically uh, these infinitely bouncing balls. Also, when I tab out, uh, I think frame rate gets messed up or something, so they just teleport around the map. Uh, but basically, this is just a fun simulation to watch. Uh, that's about it. It does not use any sounds, so uh, it works 
over on itch i've also made uh, full screen versions uh, that are hosted over on my website but yeah since this doesn't use audio it can be hosted here uh, otherwise you would need to either check that shared array buffer option or uh, use sfml3 also for this, uh, a massive shout out to uh, binary1248 and I'm probably going to say this wrong, uh, Vitor Rio Romeo, uh, who've helped massively with this. Uh, so, so binary has this mscripten branch, which is just SFML 2.2 from like 10 years ago, uh, ported over to the web uh, and uh, VR SFML here. Uh, is SFML3 uh, with some additional features uh, ported over to the web as well. So the goal of my branch was again the same as with the GLES2 branches, keep compatibility to the max. So you shouldn't need to change much of your code. Uh, things should work pretty much out of the box. So I have two infinity code here. It's basically just 500 lines of code uh, in a single file, uh, plus some less stuff over there. Uh, so how are we gonna do this? There's a lot of useful information over on the mscripten website. Uh, what you'll need to do, uh, and I'll take it from there, you'll need to uh, so have your mscripten SDK downloaded and there's this ms command prompt dot batch uh, file, which if I double click, uh, it should basically set up all of the paths and I should be able to use everything uh, mscripten related from now on. So what should work is something like mcmake, that should work. So yeah, uh, until you get this to work, uh, there's a fantastic tutorial over on their site, so you can just follow that. Once you've got that working, uh, I'll go over here and uh, over into SFML. And now I'll make a directory. Okay, so the command we'll need to run is mcmake cmake uh, dot dot and then I'll also want to turn on the SFML examples. So I've provided one example that should basically work if everything works. Uh, so we'll test that first. Okay, so there we go. Okay, there we go. And now we need to say and make make and I'll set this up to be a bit more multi-threaded. Okay, there we go. And now uh, we should be able to find so over in here. Uh, we have the lib folder which contains uh, all of the files over here. And we have our example, the mscripten.html, as well as these other files. So to run the example, we'll need to use the mrun command. So that will be examples slash scripten slash mscripten.html. And there we go. So this is basically the default SFML circle uh, example, and uh, it, it works just fine. Uh, you can also full screen, I guess, if you want, uh, but yeah, uh, that seems to work. So I'll terminate that. Uh, I'll need to install SFML first. So for that, uh, I'll be using the cmake install command. So cmake install. Prefix equals SFML, there we go. And boom. 
Okay. I'll now do the same thing for debug mode. So MC make, C make, DC make build type equals debug. And we'll also run the make command again. Okay, I'm gonna install that again. And now we should have here SFML, that is very nice. So now it's time to test something a bit more complicated. Uh, so I'll test to infinity. We'll go back and I'll make a directory uh, called M again. Okay, now I'll also need to go here into CMake lists because this file needs to have the correct path set for SFML. So for this, that would be the that would be the source directory, which is this. We go back once, and then we go into SFML. Okay, great. And now we should be able to do once again. And C make, C make. Okay, so after a bit of investigation, uh, it seems like I built the shared version of the libraries, uh, which is, I think, in SFML2 uh, the default. So I'll quickly just rebuild everything as a static library, since that is what 2Infinity uses. And uh, that should be as simple as just doing an MC make, C make the uh, build shared libs equals false. And then once again, M -M make, make. So now we should have the static libraries over here. Yeah, that looks correct. And now we should be able to go back into to infinity. Uh, I'll make a directory again. And MC make, C make. There we go. It found SFML 2.6.2. I think, so yeah, the CMake lists is basically just here uh, specified where SFML for mscripten is. Okay, then we'll do an mmake make. There we go. And now we can just do an mrun project.html. And there we go. Uh, I think this is currently running in 8K, so it's a bit too much for my GPU, uh, but uh, I guess I can uh, make it a lower resolution. So for that, I'll just need to slightly edit the source code. Uh, here we'll have somewhere, I think, the resolution. There we go. Oh uh, yeah, so it's <laughs> multiplied by four. Uh, I'll set this to 1080p, so that is the resolution of my monitor. Okay, we'll, get, we'll recompile this. And now it's 1080p, there we go. Okay, so currently, as you can see, the frame rate is quite bad, uh, and that is connected with the debug options I've enabled, which has a whole bunch of stack checking and, and I don't know what else. So we'll just change the build mode to release, which should use a lot of optimizations. go and um, make make release builds usually take uh, significantly more 
And there we go. So if I now close this and do an M run. And now it's basically 60 FPS or I don't know, uh, maybe even 144, uh, depending on what Firefox is doing here. So yeah, uh, that works really nicely. Uh, and yeah, that's, that's about it. I'm not sure if it's even possible to uh, use, to compile this as shared libraries and then use it that way. Uh, I've always been using them as static libraries since that is what these guys were doing. Uh, and it seems to work just fine. So I haven't tested the shared library option. I don't know, that's, that's about it. Uh, you can of course check my CMake lists, which, which is mostly copied from, again, these guys uh, who did most of the work. Uh, and yeah, you can play around with this. Uh, and that should be it, I think. Yeah, so that's about it. Uh, I'm sure there are bugs. Uh, it's not perfect, uh, but yeah, uh, it works, I'd say, surprisingly well. Uh, and it is actual SFML in a web browser. It's not some SDL port or something else. So yeah, that's really cool. Uh, I think this will be really useful for things like game jams, where people usually expect nowadays for your game jam game to be available uh, and playable in a web browser. I've tested touch support uh, on SFML3 and that seems to work fine. It's it's still a bit broken with full screen and everything, uh, but uh, yeah, that'll need further changes to work better. Uh, but that is that is a goal for the future. So yeah, that's about it. Uh, these branches will be in the description. And yeah, thanks for watching as always. And until the next one.